I want them to see if we can get him over there first. He's like, all oh, this is dirt. There's no grass in here. Hey, yo, quit horsing around. <laughs> Even though you're a zebra. <laughs> oh, I don't too bite my head. And you'll see him moving that mud on his shell. Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. 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 Yo, what's up? Good morning. Today is uh, one of those days. It's just me and you. We got a lot of things going on. We got to check on and do. Yeah, we, uh, we drained this pond out. First of all, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the wild jungle. We got this big, huge mega pond up here. All this nice green grass. And we are gonna go check out. We had a little problem. Um, it wasn't a, wasn't a big problem at all. Um, I think it was minute, but I wanted to intercept it before it became an actual real problem. So anyways, we dumped this whole thing out just to put a little pillar up over there. So uh, yeah, our piece of concrete was kind of like dipping you know and uh, we had a lot of people here so I got a little nervous and I said hey let's drain the pond and let's fix this problem before it comes to a big problem so let's go check it out and see what the guys did over the weekend so we're gonna refill this up our big huge pool it's gonna be nice and clear crystal clear Hold on. oh man it's bright out here today huh eh. sorry guys it's been a long time since I uh than me and you, but oh man, whatever. It's uh, heavily exposed, let me see. How do I fix this? Ah, I think I got it. All right, I'm not sure if we're still rolling, but yeah, much better. All right, so we're not as overexposed no more. Um, it's kind of weird seeing this thing empty. <laughs> it hasn't been uh, emptied since we re re had refilled it. But anyways, we got this big piece right here that's holding up this cement. So we just kind of pretty sturdy, huh? Not bad. Uh, not a bad fix so yeah that's there um, and the problem is this little lip we had I felt like it was dipping down and even now there is if you guys see that rebar going through there there's, there's rebar in there but still I just want to be safe and I wanted to clean this little pond out so now we're gonna refill it up and uh, it's gonna be nice and clear our jet skis up there we didn't want to like leave it down here, so it's up there. Crazy how a jet ski in here. Just never understood how fast you can go with that thing and how small this pond is. But anyways, enough talking. We got lots of animal stuff to do. So let's go do it. Check this out. We got ourselves a wild little bunny rabbit. Hello, sir. See him over there in the shade? Grubbing a munch. Love it up here, man. So peaceful. Freaking 
bunny rabbits just hanging out during the day. Enjoy your lunch, pal. We ain't gonna bother you. Don't worry about me. I'm just gonna come on over here. Mind my business. I, I should actually just throw him a carrot, huh? Look at that. I got a carrot back there. Hopefully he doesn't run away. Oh, we got a carrot now. <laughs> See that? Gave your boy a carrot. Hopefully he goes over there. Oh, he's gonna go get it. You gonna get the carrot in front of you, man? Do it. Check out these two lovebirds. Freaking camels, bro. What? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me, man? He said, like, yo, you got any carrots back there, homie? He said, like, hey, yo, hey, yo, Pops, you got some carrots back there? Yeah, bro, I got some carrots. You're only getting a couple, though, because you guys got lunch coming right now. So, little, little, little carrot time. Look at these guys, man. Got freaking camels. Oh, sorry, I'm freaking zooming in. Guys, I haven't filmed so in so long. I'm like, I'm, I'm basically a rookie again. I gotta get used to holding this freaking camp. Anyways, I got some carrots, homies. Hey, yo, hubby me. Look at that, homie. What's up, dog? What's up? Naomi, my love, that's for you. You guys chilling? What is up? Yeah, get those crunches in there. Yep. How is it? Is it tasty? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> all right, I love y'all. I will be back. I gotta go water the ostriches, all right? I gotta go take care of your ostrich brothers. Which is right over there. Let's go. So, we got our uh, water hose. We're gonna go hook it up right into the ostrich pen. And uh, we are going to water the tortoises shells, the grass. Uh, I don't think the ostriches really like uh, much uh, water, but we're gonna see. Hopefully I don't piss them off. But they want to cool down. Perfect time. Let's go. Soon we gotta get this thing painted. I think I should paint it like tiger stripe or something, huh? Something dope, like orange, black, or I don't know. I think white and black would be get too dirty. Something, something cool. We gotta paint this this court so it can stick out. Let's go. Well, it's always go. It's always fun going in with this guy because you uh you never know how he's feeling, especially during the time he has a girlfriend now. So, um, my best my best way of dealing with the ostriches from what I've learned. Just to like completely kind of like ignore them in a sense, you know, when they start acting all funky and crazy, you just like act like they're not even there and they kind of just like go away, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, we're going to set up our, uh, our cam in here. We're finally in the ostrich and turtle pen. These guys have been dumping the water right next to the bucket. So it's a little muddy over here, but it's okay. It's what? Uh, What's supposed to happen? I'm gonna have to probably hop this fence and uh, get in with the camels and uh, install this water hose. Let the water in again. Before it gets all muddy, we're gonna reposition ourselves out the mud. 
I drag the hose out. Come on. Oh, it's getting all muddy. Stick this camera right here in the shade. Doesn't overheat. Huh. As you guys look, it's a nice hot day today. And our, uh, our tortoise over here is basically giving himself a mud bath. So let's go check that out. All right, so what you guys are seeing here, a little mud bath going on. Our camel's in the back. We're gonna probably spray them down so they can get a little bit of coolness going on. This is our biggest tortoise. He's uh, probably like 30 years old, 40 years old almost, like 36, I think. Last I, uh, now I'll give it up some water and you'll see him moving that mud on his shell. Keeps him cool. Look at that. That is sick. It's been uh, very, very hot out here in California. And uh, I mean like, dude, 107 degrees, 105 degrees, 103, 99, 99, 98, 110. That's been the weather pattern for days on end. So these tortoises are getting some good mud baths over here. And uh, as you can see, they're doing what they do best survive tortoises are like dinosaurs so it's really cool to see him just sitting in the mud he's got this whole pen to roam a bunch of green grass he's got shade multiple patches of shade he can dig down and go below but he can't get out so he's choosing to hang out in the mud throw mud on top of himself i was gonna wash him off but obviously he wants the mud on himself so i'm gonna let him be i'll let the other guys get some water some hydration he's been in the water so i'm sure he's been drinking so that's good and uh, we're gonna dump this water out. Uh, Cause he's already got it dirty for today. We fill that with some nice fresh water. And uh, yeah, man, another day out here on the farm, watering some tortoises. Right, if you guys look, we've got some visitors stooping by they're like what is dad doing over there what's that man doing what's he got going on check these guys out just sprayed them down with a little bit of water and they're already taking a nap all these freaking lazy animals well i love you guys back to taking care of your brothers over here All right guys, so today in the Osher's pen, it's been a rather chill day today, which is good. Um, the pairs are hanging out, so they're kind of bonding now, staying together as they migrate around their new territory. Uh, one tortoise is, you guys saw him already soaking. This guy over here is in the shade taking a nap, so I'll spray him down, give him a bit of hydration. I'm having another one over there, but my water hose can't reach, so I just filled another puddle up over here in the meantime. And uh, yeah, man, just some, uh, Basic care for the kids, you know? It's always fun climbing over these uh, walls to turn the water off because Naomi always greets me. Habibi usually just doesn't really care. Sometimes during the day, he's just like chilling. Big yawn, yeah. I'm gonna climb 
over here. Excuse me, baby. Go this way. Probably should get like a little smaller gate for over here, but we'll get there eventually. Now let's feed some camels. So, our camels are kind of also bonded. They're uh, a bit more rowdy this uh, this summer. Maybe it's the heat, maybe it's uh, mating. But yeah. But nonetheless, they're still hanging out. They're still chill. They're not like ultra aggressive. He gets a little, a bit playful sometimes. She'll kick if she wants to, but it's nothing like and the, the manner of trying to hurt you. That's early in the morning, so they're probably a little more on the sleepier side. But nonetheless, they're doing good. Just got a couple more carrots, kids. Just, like I said, I bought you a little snack before your, uh, your breakfast. And these are our camels. Our babies, Naomi Camel, Al Bibi. Good, good, good. They got washed. They got all their winter here plucked off. They got fly sprayed up and down. So uh, they're feeling good and they're eating good. They're nice and fat and healthy. They got fresh, constant water and tons of fruits and veg. So, yeah, that's our little quick camel update. I got no more food, so they're gonna be like sniffing the cameras and stuff. So I'm gonna get up out of here. And um, yeah, man, a little quick camel update. Habibi and Naomi. All right, I'm out of here, kids. See y'all later. She's like, what are you doing down there, Papa? Water's off. Let's get this. Hey, right, don't you bite my head. You sicko. You're certified sicko. What's up? How are you? You all right? You chilling? She's such a sweet girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is with a big old head. What's up with that big old head you got? All right, well, I'm getting out of here, sweetheart. Your lunch should be coming up any second now. And uh, this is our girl, Naomi Camel. Baby's back to sleep. He just really does not care about us today. It's okay. My feelings are not hurt. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're getting ready to exit our ostrich pen. But I just want to do a quick update on these two before we leave. Um, now, listen to the words I'm saying. The first time since I've had this guy that he has not met me at the habitat. He's been with his girl for a couple weeks now. So they finally have bonded. They were staying on opposite sides of the habitat and now um, they are acting as one, which makes me really happy. Um, you know, the, the human in me wants to say, oh man, my bond with my ostrich, but the animal lover inside of me and the animal in me is happy that this guy can now bond with his exact species. Um, it makes me happy. I can really see a difference in his attitude, not in a bad way, in a good way. He's, uh, he's having social enrichment, which, which is what he needed the whole time, you know. So um, it's been a journey. I'm happy this guy is now being a little more distant. Um, I know that probably sounds weird because you, you guys probably think I want to keep the bond, but it makes me more happy and I get more fulfillment seeing them be animals with their same exact co-species, you know, or, you know, co-other, whatever you guys want to call it, his girlfriend, his wife, his baby mom's over there. So, yeah, man, we're going to leave the ostrich pen. I'm not going to bother him much. We watered our tortoises. We filled up our little water holes. Camels are chilling. Now we're gonna go see the baby zebras in our aviary and uh, work our way down. Let's go! All right, so now we're out. We're walking out of the basketball court. Say what's up, kangaroo Jack? We got a kangaroo surprise coming for you guys real soon. Can't wait. 
but yeah we'll get there eventually next episode or two or, or five here we are you guys see behind us this giant bird aviary and the last time i showed you guys this thing i think it was still the same way i haven't really done much the grass has grown a little bit inside of here but that's really about it i still got to order that netting um that netting is strong enough to hold a finch you know small enough to hold a finch and also strong enough to hold a jaguar so this is our bird aviary she is still up and coming but double door entry i'm gonna net all this so you gotta basically walk in here this door slides so you gotta shut that boom lock that then go inside so you open this door only if this door is shut then you can slide this one shut I like how it's on like a little track now this whole thing is welded nice and done it goes down about 300 feet that way so it's about uh a little little over 20 22 foot high um big huge long bird cage tons of bird houses up there so we'll be getting like two cans and finches and all types of napes and we'll probably section off the habitat probably to like two or three different sections but uh it's big enough for bird to fly i might just keep it all through and just get a bunch of macaws and put them in there and watch them fly and squawk and stuff so uh yeah man let's go check out our baby zebras down there though let's go see them this is sick though huh i've been watching all these guys build their aviaries and i'm just like hold my beer but these guys do have some cool aviaries but uh this is just my first rendering of uh what i want to do for birds you guys know i love birdies um i look forward to doing more bird content on our channel i do have birds just waiting for this to get done so i can get them here and uh black palm cockatoos freaking hyacinth macaws freaking two cans got baby zebras over here we're gonna check on them real quick i'm probably just gonna stick the camera through the fencing so you guys can see how big they're getting look at that boy over there let's see ah there we go that is our emperor male he's getting big he's handsome their feet look good their bellies are full this is our other boy I like to wrestle and play <laughs> so yeah it makes me happy i'm actually going to see if i can shift those guys into our camel pen they can have a lot more space to run around and play with each other and i'll move our buffaloes up here but we'll get to that later look at these guys playing hey yo quit horsing around <laughs> even though you were a zebra oh, i love these kids and there they go all right guys so that is our little baby zebra update that is most of our aviary update. I got some grass in here. I gotta watch where I step in these uh, little bushes because I've been catching tons of rattlesnakes out here. So last, uh, last thing I wanna do is to step on a Southern Pacific. That wouldn't be fun. But anyways, aviary, baby zebras. They're not really uh, social, but it's okay. I like them that way. Let them be, let them be zebras. I'm still looking for some females to accompany them. I got a couple of lines out, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit pricey. And uh, we're, already, we're already neck deep out here. So we're gonna keep on swimming. And when we can swim a little deeper, you guys know where I'm going. If, you, if, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, we're gonna get up out of here. We're gonna keep on moving on, see some more animals. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just, Took a little lunch break, stopped by the grocery store, picked up some fruits and veggies. Gonna drop them all, put them in the fridge. Just gonna change my clothes, I'm all sweaty and nasty. And then we're gonna continue the vlog. So right now we're gonna go move these baby zebras and then we're gonna finish off by seeing our new baby in llama alpaca and their update. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna go change real quick. And um, we right back. All right, guys. So we are back. Today's a big day. We got our baby zebras all the way back there. 
but they are really hands off. So we're gonna see how we can kind of sort of walk in a straight line and shift them through this gate next to the ostriches. And then when they're with the ostriches and the tortoises, we'll then shift them to the camels. So uh, wish us luck and uh, let's go. So now we have shifted the zebras with the ostriches. Got our female there. These two boys are over here. Now let's see if we can get them into the camels. How lucky will we get on the first try? I don't know, but we'll try it. <laughs> well, Twisty's out there. <laughs> He's like, Dad, thank God! They might just go by themselves. Or not. I don't mind letting them stay in here overnight either so they can calm down. I want them to see if we can get them over there first. Well, I mean, we can get, I can get Twisty over here easy. So that gap came. All right, guys, that concludes today's vlog. You guys seen us moving these animals to their new house. Our girl's taking a little breather. Boyfriend's over there chilling. The camels are here and the zebras. Guys, what a freaking day, huh? It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. But it's fun. What's up, man? He's like, all oh, this is dirt, there's no grass in here. I know, you belong next door, you don't even belong over here. But you just came on your own. You okay, sister? All right, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, you got it. Well, have fun, break some top speed records over here, run fast as you want, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.